Um, state recognizes that there are cognitive and non-cognitive areas, so a student can be identified as a general intellectual aptitude student, GIA, um, or a specific academic aptitude student, which would be, um, you know, any of the four cores, so the English language arts, or English language arts, um, math, science, social studies. And then the non-cognitive areas, students can also be identified in visual and performing arts, creativity, and leadership. So any of those areas students can be identified in. The first thing that comes to my mind is just being burnt out because like as a gifted student I am always like a perfectionist with my schoolwork so I'm always like working to get a better grade and it's just like a constant cycle of perfect schoolwork, schoolwork, schoolwork and it's just like never ending so it's like really exhausting to always do schoolwork and never really take a break. Okay so we're here at the Willie T Starbucks. First day as a group of two. As a group of two actually doing work and um, it's kind of hard as shit. I need to buy a tripod. <laughs> um, I'm realizing all the things that we have to do. We're trying to figure out how to split it up. And it's overwhelming. And what are we feeling? We're feeling burned, like a little bit burnt out. A little burnt out. Um, we're feeling like it's giving hard. Too much. Um, and this is embarrassing doing this in the library, but you know, power through because we're cool and quirky like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess basically the biggest thing that we're trying not to do is give up and shut down about it. So we're putting ourselves in a situation for success. Yeah. Um, we're talking about things in between. We're making to, plans. We're making plans. We're note taking. We have a shared Google Drive. We got bullet points. So you know, these are all things that like people can do to you know limit burnout, limit the things that they experience um, from being overwhelmed, being stressed, and uh, how to overcome those feelings. Um, yeah, I don't know. We just wanted to, you know, kind of check in and say, hope the film looks great. Um, hope it's going great because right now making it, we're not great. No. And we need to be honest about that because it's overwhelming. This is the setup. This is us at the Willie T Starbucks. This is just a physical representation of being overwhelmed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. It goes back and forth depending on how stressed I am from my classes. So if I'm really stressed, I'm like, I don't have time to clean. But if I'm like, oh, I have a break, I'll clean it. So right now it's pretty clean since I don't have that much schoolwork right now. But last week, whole different story. Definitely messy. One of the biggest issues with being a burnout gifted kid is having a messy room and having to work inside of that messy room. So oh, in my small town, I was always like known as like kind of like a smart kid and also like transitioning to college since I'm in honors courses, they, everyone's smart in those courses, like everyone, and I'm probably like, it's just a whole different experience like being around people that are driven like you are. The Lewis Honors College is filled with gifted students just like Luke burnt out of their minds. Thankfully, they offer many resources for kids with burnout, such as the Center of Personal Career Development. Some other resources that they have are workshops and fun activities for you to be able to take off stress and honor the balance. An example of some of these resources to decrease stress, especially for us in this project, was a little coloring that we found in the Lewis Honors College. 